All right, well, welcome to the North Carolina NIC practical exam. Remember, don't start until you hear the word you may begin. Always sanitize your hand before and after a service. And also, always sanitize your hand after disposing items into trash, solar linen, or to be disinfected. Let's begin with disinfecting work area for manicure. Sanitize your hand. Then take out your three trash bags. You should have one bag for trash, one bag for soil linen, and one bag for to be disinfected. Sanitize your hand again. Now we're going to put on a pair of gloves so we can disinfect the work area. After you put your gloves on, take out your disinfectant and paper towel to disinfect the work area. Make sure we wipe down the entire surface of our work area. After we're done wiping down our work area, go and throw away the paper towel and throw away your gloves and sanitize your hand. Now go and take out your manicure supply kit and your universal supply box. Set that aside and then lay out your supplies for manicure. Go ahead and pour a little bit of hand soap and some water into the finger bowl. Afterwards, place the water into the trash can, sanitize your hand, and place the hand soap into to be disinfected. Sanitize the hand once more. Take out your mannequin hand, lay it facing toward the examiner to indicate you have finished. Ready to proceed. All right, we are now ready to proceed with the manicure procedure and polish. First, go ahead and sanitize your hands. Then, sanitize the mannequin hand. Next, we're going to trim the mannequin nail. Just pretend. Afterwards, we're going to file and shape her nail. We're going to do a square shape in this example.
After we have shaped her nails, we're going to wash her hands, dipping it from pinky, middle, then thumb, brush down into the bowl. We're going to do that twice. Third time, we are going to rinse and dry her hand. Sanitize your hand afterwards. Now we're going to take a Q-tip out and apply cuticle softener on the Q-tip. Make sure we dispense the supply or the product underneath the table. So a cuticle softener on the Q-tip. Then we're going to apply it around the finger just to her cuticle. We're going to dispose of that, sanitize our hand. Now we're going to push her cuticle back and also clean underneath her nail. So one side of the metal pusher is for pushing back. This side is to clean underneath the nail. Afterwards, we're going to wash our hand again, just like before. Pinky, middle, thumb, brush into the bowl. Pinky, middle, thumb, brush into the bowl. Pinky, middle, thumb, brush, and then rinse and dry your hand off. Sanitize our hand. We're going to take another Q-tip this time. Apply alcohol, same underneath the table as we're dispensing the product. Put my alcohol underneath the table. Then I'm going to cleanse the surface of her nail and also underneath her nail. Dispose of the Q-tip, sanitize my hand. Always remember to sanitize your hand after you dispose of anything. Now we're going to buff her nail. After we're done buffing, we're going to wash your hands one more time. Same as before, pinky, middle, thumb, brush down to the bowl, pinky, middle, thumb, brush down to the bowl, third time, pinky, middle, thumb, just rinse and dry off. Sanitize our hand. Now we're going to take another Q-tip. This should be our third one. And apply cuticle oil on the Q-tip. We can do this on top of the table, we don't have to do it underneath. And then apply that oil around her cuticle. Dispose of the Q-tip, sanitize my hand. Now we're going to do the massage. Apply a little bit of lotion to the palm of my hand, rub it in. Then we're going to massage around her wrist, middle, and bottom. Push up around the wrist, middle, bottom. Push up. We do that twice. Then we're going to massage the finger. Pull down, massage, pull down, and so on and so forth. Pay attention to the motion of the massage. You turn your hand around and do the same motion as we did before, but now we're going to do it on our palms. Again, pay attention closely to the massage. You need to do two types of uh, massage movement. We're done with massage. Sanitize my hand. Now I'm going to cleanse her nail plate. Take a paper pad, apply some alcohol, and I'm going to wipe her nail plate down to get rid of any oil or lotion that's on there. This way we're prepping her nail for the polishing application. 
sanitize my hand after I dispose of that paper pad. Take out my base coat, my top coat, and my red nail polish. First, apply one coat of base. Then apply my red color, two coats of red. After my last coat of red, I'm going to apply my top coat. After I'm done, turn the hand around toward the examiner, sanitize my hand, and wait until they come by and check. Afterward, you have five minutes to remove old polish and clear your work area. When you hear you may begin, go ahead and turn the hand around, sanitize your hand, remove the old polish, After all polish has been removed, make sure underneath the finger is clean and around the skin is clear of polish. Dispose of the cotton, sanitize your hand, and now we're going to clear our work area. Take the paper towel, soak up the water that's inside the finger bowl from the manicure. We're going to dispose of that in trash, sanitize our hand, take our reusable implements, 
in tools, place that into to be disinfected, sanitize our hand, place single use items like buffers and files into trash, sanitize our hand, place our nail polish, top coat and base coat back into universal supply kit, and then place our towel into soil linen. Take make and hand out, place it toward the examiner to indicate you have finish, sanitize your hand, and wait. Next, we have 10 minutes to disinfect our work area for a new customer for nail tip and sculpture nail application. After you hear you may begin, sanitize your hand first. Place mannequin hand aside. Take out your gloves. Put on your gloves and we're going to disinfect our work area. Make sure we wipe down the entire surface of our work area and also underneath our universal supply box. Move the box aside and then place the box back after we finish. Go ahead and take out our last kit the nail tip application and sculpture nail kit. Set up the supply for the remainder of the examination. Make sure when we're setting up, keep everything on one side and keep everything organized. It will help us later when we get into the blood exposure procedure at the end. Make sure your liquid monomer is sealed. If the seal is broken, then they may they will not allow you to um, use the monomer for the sculpture nail application. Make sure it's factory sealed. During the nail tip application and blending and sculpture nail application, listen carefully to which finger the examiner want you to do each, want you to do each procedure on. They may tell you pinky, ring, middle, index, or th um, pointer finger, or thumb. Again, pinky or little finger, ring finger, middle, index, pointer finger, or thumb. Now listen carefully to which finger the examiner wants you to do the nail tip application and blending on. For this example, we are assuming they have asked to do nail tip application and blending on the middle finger. After they say begin, we will turn the hand around, sanitize our hand, and sanitize the customer's hand. Then, take out your nail clipper, place it aside, throw away the bag, sanitize your hand, take your file, and shape the chosen finger. And again, for this example, it is the middle finger. We will shape it, and then turn the file around, and remove the shine or scratch the surface of the nail in order to prep it for the nail tip application. After surface has been scratched and prepped, 
take a paper pad, add alcohol, and we're going to cleanse the surface of the nail to remove any dust and debris. Next, we're going to take out our glue and a nail tip. Leave it there ready for application. The glue bottle will be new and sealed. Give it a couple of taps so the air bowl rises up. We're going to cut a small bit off the top of the glue underneath the table. Close it back up. Take the tip. Make sure it fits on the nail. If it's a little too wide, go ahead and file the edges just so it fits better on the nail. After we've gotten the fit proper, apply glue to the well of the tip, and then apply the tip about one-fourth to one-fifth of the way up on the nail plate. Afterwards, cut the nail down. Make sure it's not too short. Then we're going to shape and blend the nail tip to make it smooth. After it's smooth, we're going to buff it to smooth out even further. Make sure we don't over buff or over file or else it'll break. This is very important. Afterwards, we're going to cleanse the nail with paper and alcohol. Turn the hand around to the examiner to indicate you have finished. Next procedure, we're going to sculpt your nail acrylic application on the chosen finger. After you hear you may begin, go ahead and sanitize your hand first. Turn the hand around. Prep the nail as before. On the chosen finger. For this example, we have chosen the index finger. Remember to shape the nail and remove the shine on the surface. Afterward, cleanse the nail with alcohol and a paper pad. Remember to do it underneath the table. Next, go and place your buffer underneath her hand to get the hand propped up. Then take out a nail form. We're going to apply the form on the chosen finger.
after the form has been applied, we're going to take our dappen dish and we're going to pour the monomer into one side and the polymer powder into the other side. Next, we're going to apply our primer. Now we're going to start the sculpture application. Make sure as we're applying the sculpture, we keep the cuticle, sidewall, and the mannequin skin free of any acrylic. It is very important that there is no acrylic on our skin. After we're done, we're going to set the mannequin hand aside. We're going to clean up, take our paper, soak up the excess monomer, close up the side with the powder, throw away the paper, sanitize our hand, organize our work area. It should take from five to eight minutes for the acrylic to dry. We can check whether acrylic is dry by giving it a couple tap. If it feels hard, press on the side of the form and the form lifts the way that we know the acrylic is dry. If the acrylic still is stuck on the form, then give it a few more minutes. After that, we're going to shape it up. Remove the tacky layer on the surface of the nail. Because the liquid that we're using is a low odor, it's going to leave a little bit of a tacky layer even though the nail is dry. So just uh, rough up the surface or scratch the surface to remove that layer. After that, we're going to buff it.
And then we're going to cleanse the nail plate with alcohol and a paper pad. Again, make sure there's no acrylic around the cuticle, the sidewall, or anywhere on the mannequin skin. Remember to sanitize our hand every time we're done with the procedure. For the last procedure, we are doing a blood exposure on the thumb. The scenario is that you accidentally cut the client, but it is not so severe that you can still continue the service. Go ahead and turn the hand around, sanitize our hand, fold the paper over to cover our work area. We're going to put on a pair of gloves before we take out our first aid kit. It is very important that we put on gloves before even touching the first aid kit. This way we don't contaminate the first aid kit. Take out our first aid kit, take out a trash bag, band-aid, antiseptic wipe. We're going to open the trash bag up, leave it open, that way as we're working we can dispose of trash into the bag. First we're going to wipe your thumb with antiseptic wipe. Dispose of the antiseptic wipe. Then we're going to apply the bandage. Dispose of the wrapper. After a bandage has been applied, we're going to remove the gloves, place it into the trash bag. Remember to close the trash bag up before throwing it away. Throw it into the trash can, sanitize our hand, and we are finished. At this point, after they have gone around and checked, they will announce that uh, you're finished with the exam and they will thank you for participating. You may uh, clean up after this and dispose of any items into this proper container and take everything with you. Make sure your work area is clear uh, and that you don't leave anything behind. Thank you and good luck.